Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Randall, and I want to uh, make a quick video about um, running code, SQL code, in Visual Studio. In a perfect world, what would happen is that you would be able to double click on a SQL file, SQL file, in Visual Studio, and um, be able to execute the code right from Visual Studio. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen on about 30% of the computers out there. I have no quick fix for for this. There are a few ways that you can kind of mitigate this by installing the, the data tools. Uh, that can be done by just going through and, and uh, adding on the, the data tools. There's a, a spot in Visual Studio that allows you to do a web link. But um, that may just be overkill. The fact of the matter is, it's a convenience to be able to right-click, connect to it, and then be able to execute the code right from here. It's a nice-to-have feature. It's not a must-have feature. I'm hoping one day Microsoft really resolves this issue. I've seen computers in the same room with the exact same setup respond differently. And some would work just fine and others not. As a workaround for this, what I recommend is... <clears throat> You, uh, once you've had the file open, you can right click on it and uh, copy the full path. So I right click on the tab and I copy the full path. Then I go ahead and open SQL Server Management Studio and open the same file in SQL Server Management Studio. Now, this workaround works fine every time, so that's, that's a good thing. Back to my database engine, and when it finally comes up, I'll just go ahead and say open a file, and I'll paste that path right in there and say open. It opens a file, and you can run the code now. So it, it's an inconvenience, I admit, but it's at least a, a relatively easy workaround. The, the way you know that it's not going to work is A, the context menu doesn't pop up correctly. And B, there's no color coding. If it's just black and white when you open it, eh, you're not going to be able to see the context menu. It's, it's just not going to be there. So I'm hoping that uh, this short little video helps people to kind of figure out uh, what's going on and a workaround for that issue. Thanks for watching.